Damn it. But because of the water temperature, the difference of it. I'm gonna plug this little entrance. Coming back. Come here. Okay. That's pretty cool. There's definitely more fish in there. Let's head them up. Woo! With catch them all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Get them up. All right, it's gonna be tough today, guys. But we do have some good equipment. And Jordan's coming. What? What? Are, what are you guys doing? What the hell? Are you guys good? What is? It? Anyway, guys. Oh my God! Shut up! Please, 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 please. No, there's fish leaving. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. Okay, so anyway, what we're trying to do today, guys, is going to be pretty pretty interesting and fun. So, a couple people don't believe that there should be fish in that hole. I don't know why, but there's fish in the lake. Does everyone just want to be in this video today? Be quiet. Please. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Anyway, what's happening today is there's fit. There's fish that are in this little hole we dug. This is, you can kind of, you can actually see the whole thing. So, in the previous video, we were just getting rid of these dead roots, right? We lifted them all up, me, Farley, and my friend Jonathan. But then it immediately rained, which was good for us because we actually found giant lost koi fish, which I'm going to walk over there and show you at one point, but I don't want to spook everything. As you can see, there's fish. See that? Right by the mouth, by the entrance here. Oh, and I'm hoping that we catch fish in this opening. So that's the goal today, is to try to catch fish coming in and out of this opening from the lake that are filtered into this. Basically, it's a fish trap right now because we're gonna try to catch fish from the lake. Shh, I don't have food. I don't have food. Shh, shh. Please, please, please. I have an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some food over to the side and hopefully it doesn't betray us. But the thing to catch the fish is I'm gonna have to put the food in a spot that these fish can get to it. But I have to be smart about this. Come on, come on, shh, shh, shh. The fish are used to eating around the ducks. So I'm not sure if it's gonna help us or hurt us to have the ducks in there. But I do see some fish already. There's fish in here, there's fish in here already. I don't have my polarized glasses right now, but I do see fish already. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of this food in there. Let the ducks and everything come. It might even entice them to come. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't know if there's fish in there right now. But I just saw a few swim out. Now the only way for them to escape would be, oh, oh yeah. Oh, there's fish right on the outs on the outskirts of this. They just need to be encouraged to come in. So that's the deal. All the fish are right on the outside. One right here looking at us. We want all these fish to swim down this path and into here where the food is going to be. The only issue is we need them to swim down there. We don't want them to get spooked. Now, I've been throwing food in here as the water has been drying up, which has been great. But, as you can see, oh wait, oh my gosh, one might come in right now as we're watching. I'm literally looking at one. They get spooked with all the birds and everything like that. So I feel like they might leave once these bird activity, that, they kind of look like birds that are going to eat you. Oh my god, they're coming in the entrance. They're all like lined up. They see the ducks and the fish are coming in. They're like lining up over here but they're getting spooked of me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna walk away i'm gonna get more food and i'm gonna walk away and i'm gonna get these guys going what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a little bit to the outside so we get some food in here and have it kind of like loop down this whole pathway the food's gonna just kind of lay along that pathway so 
so ready. LeBron. Perfect. So they're going to hopefully follow that pathway. I already saw fish kind of moving around. From this angle though, I see some movement. Yeah, we want them to just follow that pathway and end up in here. So I'm going to get a bunch of fluid and I'm just going to pour in here. And hopefully the dust settles and all the fish we can see collecting in there. Hold on, I don't, I don't want these ducks to see me. So I got to sneak it. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually throw some more. I'm just going to keep stacking this up, but... I want you guys to see what we're working with. There's gar right here. Gar on the surface right here. So close to the mouth of this trap. I don't want to spook everything. Look at this. Hello. And there's a turtles. There's all sorts of stuff. Catfish, tilapia, and much, 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 much more. There's something pink probably Mayan, something else big down there. And they were all swimming up into this hole. All right, get away from here. Damn it. There's a fish literally in that thing. I gotta get rid of all these birds. These ducks are whacking us right now. Look, the fish wanna come in, the fish wanna come in. Fish wanna come in, they're right at the entrance. Ooh, they're literally in there. Okay, so now what we have to do is what, oh, they're really, they're coming in for real. I got to get this bird out of here and we should be good. Okay, baby, do me a favor, stand in the shade. They're coming in through the entrance a little bit. I just got to get rid of this bird. Stay zoomed in over here. They're literally coming in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes, I'll tell you. This one bird is just busy. Damn it, go away. <laughs> you want me to stay tight? Good. Huh? Stay tight. Yeah, stay tight on that because I want to see the fish coming in. The only issue is we gotta just have to give, give patience over there. All right. Come on in, boys. That bird, are you kidding me right now? Get the palm leaf and just look, the palm leaf behind you. Just, yeah, there you go. Throw it up in there. Good job. You don't want to spook the fish, that's the whole issue. Damn it. Alright. So the fish are starting to want to come in because they ran out of food on the, on the edges, guys. When I seal that, I'm going to need you to film it. It's going to be tough because they're going to have a little bit of room. They have a little, like, four inches on each side to kind of sneak out gonna be a little tough. Fortunately, it looks like our food is literally following the path like it's swimming on its own. Out. <laughs> just gonna give it some, oh yeah. Just gonna give it some time. And we're gonna just go over there and try our best to block off the hole, which is gonna be tough. That is sick. Oh yeah, they're really, oh yeah, they're starting to follow the food. Come on, uh, there's no way. Just throw the net straight up in the air, babe. From here, just where you're standing. Just throw it up, straight up in the air. Up, just throw it in the air. Just throw it, like straight up. Wasn't scared of you, I guess. Fast. I don't want to spook anything. These guys are eating. Huh? So many fish. I know, there's so many right here. 
traffic going in and out right now. On the edge, there's so many. I don't want to spook them. Let me get away from this. Because they're eating really well right now. The strategy's working. They just need to keep coming. Just need to keep eating them away th themselves away from that hole. Oh yeah, here we go. They're getting closer and closer as a hole. The whole school needs to come in and eat. But they can't really see us. These ducks are just being relentless. But we can actually have a better angle at the fish. From over here, you can definitely see what's going on. Right at the mouth of that, there are so many fish just trying to decide if they're gonna come all the way in for the food or not. But right now, the food is kind of blowing out. So it's kind of hurting us a little bit. But it could be worse, could be worse. Just buying time. Hopefully, this little freaking wind does not blow all of our food out from our trap right now out into the into the lake but so far so good it's not too bad let's see if i can get a little closer for y'all without disturbing the peace over here oh man So many of them, it's insane. They just need to push in. They're just getting satisfied with all the food that's coming out. The fish are just getting satisfied with all the food that's come that's getting pushed out by the wind. Although most of the food is, you know, right here. There's a couple in there already. But I want them all. Come on. The clarity of the water is going to spook them a little bit, but it's actually getting, it's actually clearing up a little bit. It's looking pretty good from this angle. Looks like the dust is settling that the ducks kicked up. We just had to have to take our time. But that food keeps slowly gifting them instead of staying deep in there. It's pissing us off. It's not helping our cause at all. But it should at least tell them that there's food in there and where it's coming from and if they could somehow eat all of that just in time they would get to the food on the other side i'm sorry my friends i love you guys but today is not your day you understand my god get in there yeah there's a couple oh one just went all the way in oh they're starting to make it they're starting to make the change and now one's on this side Ooh. Come on, get in here, boys. Come on, boys. I know you're hungry. Unlimited food is right around the corner. Oh, we got some eating on the right side, which is great for us. They're slowly coming in. I think I'm going to back off. But it would be good for me to attack this direction because what I'm going to do is I'm literally going around here and I'm going to plug up this little hole right there. All the fish are going to be here, and they should lay on the bottom there. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. Here you go. Oh my god, those geese are fighting for the lot. Still crazy back here. Still tons of fish back here still underwater and this is still the lake. How is everyone doing? Hello! Eat, my children, eat. Very nice. Hello, my friendly behemoth. You are so beautiful. And then that's the other guy. He looks like he's healing pretty well. Hi guys, hello! It's easier to see from the other side. But look at this flooding, guys, still. Days and days afterwards, we've waited. This is our creek. <laughs> <laughs> At least our chair is dry, if you remember. 
Oh no. Remember we were sitting on that. We were literally underwater. There's a fish swimming right behind the chair. It's so funny. Look at this. Right? See him? Hello. <laughs> Too funny. Everything's floating. Look, we attached everything in anticipation. Hello. It's much easier to see from this side. For being patient, there's a lot going on. There's so many. I just keep checking. But there's so many right now. You can see through the screen right now. It's tough to focus. But there are fish right now eating on their own in that pond. I'm trying not to spook them. Let me see. I'm just sitting there. But I, de I definitely need to wait to try to like cut off that one little area because they're going to be running all at the same time. They're going to be stuck in there. We're going to catch this. Alrighty. This is the next day. And as you see, oh, there's a turtle over there. Hello. See him basking in the shallows. We have a secret weapon. There are fish right now. But these guys might have just spooked him. They weren't even here. I literally came out here five seconds ago. No! I just saw a fish swim out. But there's definitely fish still in there. Okay. All right. All right. Quiet. Quiet. Come with me. Come this way. Children. This way. This way. I have a secret weapon that'll make sure all of these ducks and everything stays away. Come on. Ooh, look, the fish are still there. Solid fish behind the behind the goose, guys. Can you see him? Yep, I see one literally swimming right behind him, but there's a bunch right at the mouth. We're still cooking with gas. I'm pretty sure that we're loaded up right now. But anyway. I have corn tortillas. Corn is okay for duckies. The wheat, the flour, not so good. Come here. I know I feed you over here. It's time. It's time. It's time for corn tortilla day, my friend. This will keep these ducks occupied forever because they're hard to eat. Come on, children. Yes. Time to get full. Ah -ha -ha. Do they float? Oh my god, they sink. No, oh god. No. No. <laughs> well, that's not going to help. You have to keep it shallow. Come on, guys. Donkey, you can't have some. I'm sorry. Oh my god, is there more? Oh my god. Please. I hate you so much. Oh, I really don't want to come out here and smoke every last one of you. Help me. No. No, not over there. Oh, no. Yeah, go get them. Teach that thing a lesson. Teach him a lesson. We fight. Stay away from the pond. Oh my God. No. Yeah, get him out of here. One less. Guys, don't step in the pond. Yeah, go get him. Teach him a lesson. Oh, that thing's getting taught a lesson. Guys, come here, please. I really don't want to turn you guys into duck, 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 uh, duck hats. All right, here, children. Have a smorgasbord. Just stay away from the pond, please. I knew these would come in handy. Please. Oh, there's so many more. Come on, come on, come eat now. I hate you. Yes. Hello, beautiful. You have donkey food. Good. I felt bad. We all felt bad for the donkey. I know everyone at home was like, "Oh, poor donkey." Mmm, donkey like to eat. Now, now that Jordan's here, all the ducks are like, Snow White, enjoy. <laughs> all right, Mr. Goose. Yeah, making it rain. All the poor fish are like, please. Yeah, oh, look, 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 going into, going into our shop right now. Right now we got the ducks away. Look, 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 literally swimming inside. Literally swimming inside right now. All right, great. So hopefully, have you not learned? Oh, you're the one that chased off the other one. Now you came back. Good job. Come on, look, look, look. 
Oh my god. Snow World. Enjoy, my friends. Come on. Look how soften it up for you. Enjoy. Come on. So what we're doing here, we're distracting all these guys from their toilet food. Eat. Shut up. Eat. They don't like this stuff as much. They like fattening bread just like the rest of us. Uh oh, here's a gar. Here's a garfish like. Is this where we're getting fed at? Where is he at? Can't even see him, he's right there. He's like, I know you guys know where the pellets are. Eat. Yeah, there you go. Eat. Tear that up. So what we're doing, we distracted the ducks enough, I think. I need to make this a little bit like mush for them. Because these ducks are really, you know, really stupid. Especially these Egyptian geese. They're invasive. But I really should smoke every single last one of these things. Except for you, because he's so cute. But I, I'm unfortunately... Uh, I have no. Snow White, so Snow White doesn't want me to smoke every single last one. <laughs> but I would. Just no. Just no. So eat this garbage and leave us alone while we feed them. Look, don't drown over there. Eat this garbage. Come on, plenty for you. But they're like, where's the food? We need more. Come on. Eating in it. I need my wife. Jordan! I don't see any movement. Then they just ran. Oh no, they're still in there. Definitely see them. Still eating. Go away, guys. Look at this gar. What are you doing, gar? Look, I'm about to catch this thing. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna put you with the rest. This guy just swam in. Come on. Okay. Let's see if I can sneak around. They can breathe there, guys. We're good. Still movement. A lot of move. Oh, dang. They're in and out. I wonder if that gar would help. I see another gar. I bet that gar would kind of help. Like, think, make everything comfortable. Oh, I see him over there. I gotta sneak this guy in now. Okay, because I see the fish over there eating. Oh my god. Okay, I need to sneak him in there. Cool. So fishing, fish are all like right on the outside right now. That gar's in there. They're gonna be like, oh, there's another fish in there. They're eating the pellets. They kind of all swam out. We're good. That gar is swimming out. No, that was a horrible idea. He's gonna teach everyone to swim out. No. But he might actually him. Let's see. He swam out. He just swam out. The fish are going crazy. Come over here. Come over here. There's so many fish. Like this is this is the way. And the birds know when we have the net. It's time to stay away. Yeah. Come over here, like literally stand right here in the water. You could actually, no, that's a good angle right here because the glare. If you zoom in pretty tight to the entrance, you could see there's like so many fish, like really tight. Though you got to really tight, yeah, yeah, right there. There's a guy looking right at us right here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, right there at the entrance. I'm about to scoop this to that piece of it right here. Oh, there's there's one in there. Oh, there's a, there's a bunch in there. Okay, zoom, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. I'm gonna sneak over there and cover the hole. Damn it. 
Damn it, I lost one. Did I get the other one? Yep, I see a lot of movement in there. I think they went the other way. I think we're good. We spooked all the fish that were right here by the entrance. Okay. Now there's fish trapped in here. Oh, there's one right here. There's literally a walk, a big walking catfish right here. Just swam into the hole. I'm watching it, watching it. Big one, big one. Okay, good. So our plan worked. Let me see if we have anything in here. No, we don't. So now we just got to continue to plug this. Make sure nothing is going to swim out. Easy. Bomb. So we're plugged. Okay, come around this way, babe. We are plugged. So our fish trap worked. I could have scooped. That guy I scooped up was big. That was actually a really cool fish. Okay, so now we got to make sure that the entrance is plugged up basically with dirt and whatever else. <laughs> There's fish in here for sure right now. Look at the movement. Look at the movement. See them? They're looking for an exit. Stay wide. Stay wide right now, babe. There's a lot of fish in here. I don't know how many exactly, but they're in here. Now we just got to try to scoop them out and not lose them to this exit because they know that this, this is an exit. They're trained to swim out of here so what i gotta do is kind of like barricade this you know what i could do i could probably just barricade it literally with the um with like dirt a ton of minnows yeah there's a ton of little fish there's who's who knows what's even in here right now but what we gotta do is make sure nothing swims out so i'm gonna put both of these guys right here for now see if i can kind of just stack them up i don't think anything is gonna swim that direction while literally seeing the nets there yeah, 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 there's a ton of stuff in here. Okay, so we got it. There's fish swimming back and forth, literally kicking up food. They're all at the bottom right now. We got them, we got them plugged. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug this up, babe. Gotcha? So film everything. Don't just stay on the on the pond. Look, the fish is still eating. The fish is still eating right there for a second. Okay, so right now, I'm just gonna plug this little entrance so they can't escape. God bless you. Jeez. Sorry. Look at this guy eating. He's still eating. I'm going to plug this entrance, this exit. Then I'm going to just take my time. Okay. Stay there. This is pretty freaking cool. And since we all had them in like kind of blocks, we're looking pretty good. Whoa. Okay make it easier for myself Just make sure there's nothing swimming that direction because fish will jump surprisingly all right so we're pretty good with plugging the entrance um i want to continue to do so oh look at the fish look at the fish trying to escape already get out of there no ah the fish was trying to escape already. I saw the tail. So I definitely got to keep a nut there. He immediately tried to make a run for it. Immediately. I'm going to keep a net there as I plug this up. And hopefully it doesn't rain. Look at the fish eating right behind us. That's great. Look at, see, look at all that. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Only God knows what's in this right now. Because it's pretty deep. Remember how deep it was when we were standing there? That was like our full body. Okay, great. So let's continue to plug this up. Mm -hmm. Like so. Make sure nothing's swimming out. Yeah, that's pretty freaking good, dude. Gotta make sure they can't swim on the grass either. Look at everything that's happening behind us, like a crap storm. All right. We kind of just solidify it with our weight. Oh crap. This is awesome. I didn't think this would work that well. I thought they were going to escape, but there was a, probably a lot more in there than we thought. Okay, great. Cool. Then I'll probably just keep this here as a way to like spook them. Because if they see that net, they're going to be spooked in general. And that'll be that and then okay so that's good we're pretty good 
It's, it's really big down there. It's pretty deep, but we're going to go in there with the waders and try to see what we can catch. It's hard to see, but but there's definitely big fish in there. Let's go. Can you grab that bucket for me? All right. So, so you guys can see, I threw a look. Look at this fish. There's already one trying to get out the way it came in. I see the back of one already trying to get out. Look, he's trying to climb the wall. You know what? Let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. Is he eating or trying to climb the wall? Look, look at that. Look at that. There's, there's one right here. There's one right here. I think he's trying to climb the wall. Yeah, there's no way. This guy's not eating. He looks stupid. You good? There's something else right there. You're done. And that's how easy it is. Look at this guy. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sorry, the camera's acting stupid. Can you see him? This guy's done. Actually, you know what? I'm going give to you, give you the camera, man. Because this is going to be fun. I threw a couple more. Let me show you guys what I did really quick before we start collecting all these guys. We got two big tilapia right at the surface. Are you good? You good, fam? They ran out of oxygen just got zapped. Maybe that's why I didn't stay in the pond very long. I don't know. But anyway, the inside now, as you can see, we covered that hardcore. I just threw a couple more sticks before walking away. Just got the waders, <laughs> build that up a little bit. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like that was a, those are three, four. How many walking catfish was that? I just, oh, what the? <laughs> I don't know what was going on right there. But that guy was sitting here staring at us. I caught it on camera. I'm, I'm filming. And then this guy, we just walked up and was trying to escape. I don't know what, I think they're, they're all, uh-oh. I think they're running out of oxygen. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. They're trying to escape. They're running out of oxygen. Yeah, you gotta do something. In two seconds. We just stopped the flow. And then all of a sudden they're running out of oxygen. They're coming to the surface. This might be easier than I thought. Look at this. This is a bluegill. Here, film this really quick. Okay. Let me turn on my GoPro. Look at them all. This is ridiculous. As soon as we covered the flow, let me see. I don't have a pump. I could, I could probably turn on a pump, but I kind of want them to come to the surface. I can just scoop them up. So this, I just throw this here. There's one right here. That bluegill is just doing backflips. I, I need to put on the waders so I can really get in there. Let me see if I can grab this thing. Can you let me grab you? Are you that depleted? Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing. I just grabbed this thing with my hands. That's a sandwich. Look, it's sandwich came right out of the water. On the other side, let's see how it acts. Coming back. Let me get that. That's that, this is a native. I just not, not killing this because I'm not feeding anything. Dude, you good? Oh, oh. Look at this. Two seconds. Coming back. This is a Florida native. This is a bluegill. <laughs> There's another one over there. Look at them coming back. You're good, fam. Look, immediately comes back to life. This guy's starting to kick. Get this one. Hello. So that means at the bottom of this are probably fish that can handle low oxygen. Come here. And obviously tilapia are decent with that but not the best. I wonder if they're just, I bet this water is overheated. I bet that's what's going on here. Check this out. Another little one. This guy is thin. Look, he's weird shape. This other tilapia is pretty big. There's a bluegill. See if they come back to life. We'll have a shout out there. Hello. Dude, they got zapped. I think just because of the black bottom of this pond, I think this water might be significantly warmer. Save the fish. Let's see. Oh. Where'd he go? Hello. Better? Let me get that net. 
don't think this matters anymore. Oh, what we could do is we could probably just unblock this and then just spook everything to swim out on its own. Hello. You're good. You guys good? Yeah, that's gotta be a shock thing. That's not an oxygen thing, that's like, they're getting roasted. And I think this water temperature is just significantly hotter than the cold temperature out there. Maybe that's why those pellets were kind of pushing on their own out, even with no flow. I don't know, I don't know. Let's see if we can scoop over here really quick before hopping in there. As long as I'm standing on the grass, I should be good. It gets pretty deep though. I just hit something. Look at them. There's a bunch of stuff down there. Oh, I'm stuck on something. I don't even know. It's gonna be tough to get There's the fish. There's a few fish right here. Where? I'm getting stuck. Oh, I got one going backwards. Look at this. What is that? Catfish. That's not a walking. That's a, that's a brown bullhead. This is, I don't know. I don't think, is that a, I think these might be native species. He has a lock jaw right now. That's a, called a brown bullhead. That's pretty cool. They can't handle low oxygen at all. That is sick. Let's see what happens when we... Actually, you know what? Let's put them over here. You good? You good? Getting roasted, huh? You, you okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna unplug this and see what happens because these guys are getting roasted and maybe I'll put like a, a pump on and then just have the fresh water pumping in so they have a way to get out because these guys are getting roasted. I'm not trying to kill them. I just wanted to see. There's, there's definitely more fish in there kicking up. There's one. Oh, I saw a couple. I, I just wanna, wanted to see what we could catch with this like homemade fish trap. There's one right here in the shallows. Did I get him? Damn it. <laughs> Failure. <laughs> There's trillions of little fish though. There's so many little fish, it's insane. If I come this direction, I won't get stuck maybe. Still getting stuck on oh, crap. Oh, here we go. This is a Mayan. This is a Mayan cichlid. <laughs> Guys, our fish, track wor our fish trap worked super, super well. You know, if we had to eat these things, I mean, that's the way to do it. Just toss food over there. There's one right here. Hello. Say where? Right here. Failure. Like I said, it gets pretty. Oh, there's one by the exit. Okay, I got him. Yeah, another Mayan. Guys, this is pretty sick. This is pretty sick that our fish trap where I see peacocks, all sorts of stuff over here. What's up, buddy? You're good? Like I said, guys, I'm not gonna kill fish. There's stuff, some just kicked up right there, huh? Mm hmm. What's that? That's nothing. Huh. Maybe standing on this side. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of all this really quick and give them a, a way to escape. But I feel like they're just gonna escape on their own. There's one right there. I don't know. I just saw one. Oh there he is. Got one. Another one. How many is that? Six? At least six different fish. I've seen a lot more catfish walking. We haven't pulled up a single walking catfish yet. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Let me see. <laughs> Come on, buddy. So we caught all these guys with basically this. This is how they make fish traps on the beach and stuff. You see, like in Indonesia and stuff, they. They build up with sticks basically. So they have a bunch of sticks. They just stick off a location and make it smaller and smaller with nets. We just did it in the ground and it worked flawlessly. It took a couple days, but I think waiting that extra day before scooping 
all the water levels went down. I think that was smart. The only thing that I'm learning right now is that if we were to keep this as a pond for ourselves and the pump shut off, I think it would still get zapped. I mean, this was like, what, how long did it take us to get the waiter? 15 minutes, if that. 10. We grabbed a drink, we grabbed, that's it. Probably 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Unless it could just be the stress from getting, I don't see it being the stress of getting trapped. I mean, we saw the other ones literally run out. So they knew that they were getting trapped. I don't know. Look, look, look at the bluegill, another one. Come here. Yeah, so what's happening is they're getting roasted and coming to the surface, I think. Or it could be a stress thing, I don't know. Hello, buddy. Come here. It's a solid one, though. That, if we kept, we should have kept those bluegill with all this, all this flooding and used it as, as bait. We could have caught some giants, I'm stupid. Oh well, see you later. Come back to life almost instantly. You good? You need a tickle? You need a tickle, don't you? Oh, yeah, you feel that water. It's so much warmer. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a hot and cold thing. I see something moving over there. One there, one here. So immediately, this water, and that's why it's flowing that way. This is hot water and it's pushing out to the cold water. So the hot water is moving on the surface and then sinking and then um, moving out to the colder water. This water is significantly warmer already than the lake. That is ridiculous. And, uh, and that'll, that'll help a lot. And if you see a fish, then let me know. And we'll get this party started one way or another. Dang, that's interesting. Really interesting. I, I didn't think that those fish would get zapped like that. I mean, they were just chilling. I mean, they were literally swimming in and out of here. They swam in here five minutes ago. They could have been in here for a while, but maybe the fish that were in here for the longer time were the ones that got zapped first. I don't know. I have no idea. Water is flowing out now. You see that? It's, it's zooming by. There's fish still in here, but the water is literally zooming by right now because of that heat. The heat on the surface is just making those molecules move way faster and it's pushing that water out even though there's no current at all coming from here it's a stagnant little pond that's pretty and cool. the water is just flying out that direction maybe i can get rid of this root that'll probably help dang that is ridiculous so cool I wonder if I just stir things around with this little net. Maybe I, I can just catch stuff in this bigger net that'll just swim into it. Let's see if I can do that maybe. Cool. So let me know if something swims behind me over there. This net extends. All right, let's see. Maybe we can just like herd everything in that direction over here I'm pretty fast all right see if we can kind of just spook everything out maybe away nothing is that a fish look another one another one another bluegill I'm telling you there there's hot ones and there's cold ones come here come here buddy <laughs> you good just getting roasted bro things were boiling these things were boiling. All right, stay wide. Let's see. We're good right there. I'm good with the boots right here. Don't even need the waders. Get super deep over there. Just trying to spook everything out. Nothing? Nothing yet. I really don't want to go for a swim right now. Let's see. We can get... I know I saw walking catfish. I know I saw them. I just don't know where they could be in here. Just trying to spook them all out that direction. I don't know. Think they could find that hole? Oh yeah, look, we got something in there. Got something in there. 
Come on. Uh oh. See if it's still in there, if it swam out. <laughs> See, it worked. Check out, man. This is cool, man. This is sick. All right. Chilling. Look at this peacock. Y'all think I can catch a peacock with a net? Look at all these peacocks. <laughs> that thing is a little fast to catch it with this little net. That'd be sick. Fish are still eating out there. I think the fish are just going to take their time on their own, swim out. I saw a bunch of walking catfish in here, but I think they can just take the low oxygen. You can see there's fish eating right behind us and they're going to swim out on their own. I mean, as the water sinks down, they might not swim out. Maybe they can just handle the heat. I don't know. They're a different species, you know? So what we're going to do is we just open that up. Anything that we that's in here right now is just going to swim out on its own. And then once the water does dry below where they can swim past, then we'll revisit it and catch anything else that's in the deeper part of this pond. There's just fish. There's still fish in here. I see them. One just moved right this second. Make sure they can have a clear path out good to go and guys stay tuned this is going to be pretty cool i mean who knows we're going to see what can really really withstand the temperatures i know gar can but i saw all the gar run out with that big gar we threw in here for half of a second that we caught that big one just everything just took everything with it and <laughs> all the gar it was like follow me children and then just moved so stay tuned guys this is this is pretty interesting. I'm excited and I'm learning a lot about how to build this pond properly without killing any fish in the future, guys. So stay tuned for the next episode and catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all.